Eight. Hey, good morning. I am getting a late start this morning for good reasons, and that's all right. So I'm not going to fret over it. I am going to go ahead and jump on calls. We're going to do some expired calls and some follow-up calls today, or as I call them, FU calls. Let's see. So... Go ahead and select them all. We'll do a good hour of dialing. It's a really messed up situation about Kobe, huh? It was nuts. I went to school in the same conference and graduated the same year. And uh, it's just wild to see somebody that's 41 my age <clears throat> just wild all right folks We're getting after it Let's see if we can get going today Not sure who that is. We're going to make some direct comments and statements to get things rolling today. You really just got to be willing to take the chance and say certain things, ask for things, and be willing to make mistakes. How else do you figure out how to fail forward? <clears throat> you have reached the voicemail box of... Yeah, I'm not. Hi, you have reached the voicemail of Jamie Hofgetter. I am unable to get to the phone right now, but we do need a number and I will call you back. call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six.
You have reached the voicemail box of... Yeah. ringing our call has been forwarded to an automated voice message Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon. I was calling for the owner there on Butternut Drive that had a house for sale. Do I have the right number? He's not here right now. I'm using a call. Oh, okay. So I do have the right number, just the wrong time. Okay. Um, Mrs. Salazar, I presume? Yeah. Hi. Okay. So the... the uh, you said to call in the afternoon, like after, when will you, Manuel be home? After 12. Sometimes. After 12? Okay. I was just curious if you guys are still going to be open to selling the house. So I'll give a call. Okay. I'll All give, right. I'll give a call back. All right. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Bye now. Hmm. Seems so shy. Safe. Call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Six one six five five zero one nine six seven is not available. You have reached the voice mailbox of six one six five six six. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging. Hi, good morning. My name is Brandon. I was looking for Mr. Sturzma. Do I have the right number? Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Hi. I, uh, my name is Brandon. I own Vidal Properties here in Cascade, and I noticed Shore Drive, uh, geez, last year, I feel like, or earlier this year, 
And um, I was curious if that's something that you might still consider selling this year. Yeah. You are? Okay. And Mr. Stersman, when do you think you'll interview the, the right agent to get it sold for you? I don't know. Okay. Um, is I see that it is the homestead. So when you were considering, like when you first started selling this, uh, when were you kind of hoping to have this done? Like already, I imagine. I don't hear the schedule. Okay. Um, when you do sell it, would you be offended if I asked where you might like to go next? Not interested in going into that. Okay, no worries. Um, well, I, I'm, what I'd like to know is what you think stopped it from selling while it was up for, for that time. Like anything that you, you think? I don't have any idea. Not sure. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just curious if, if there was a way to, to help you uh, sell it in the next, I don't know, 60 days or so, um, while the winter shoppers are still shopping because they're the ones that mean business, right? Uh, if I could show you a way to get that sold um, and net the most you can uh, without as many hassles as possible, you know, that would be worth you know, 30 minutes of your time at some point, wouldn't it? I don't think so. You, you don't, th okay. Um, you, you don't think it would, it would, be beneficial to, to learn how to sell it. Uh, I mean, I'm not, okay. Do you, do you, would you still like to sell it? Sure. Okay. Well, how, how can I, how can I, let, 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 let me just get to it. Let me just get to it. Yeah, please. You please. don't know the name of the street. You don't know the name of the street. S okay. This house is on. You're in Cascade. South Shore. Dr in Holland. Yes. I, I sell houses you within. Said, you said Shore Drive. South okay? Shore. So in any event, I'm not interested in talking to you. No, okay. Mr. Sturzman, I said South Shore, and I, I sell properties in Grand Haven, South Haven, Cal Thank Kalamazoo, you. Battle Creek. Thank you very much. I'm really not interested in talking to you. Well, what's wrong with me, Mr. Sturzman? Okay. No worries. So the guy, I mean, obviously he doesn't want to help, right? So um, where, where did I go? I'm not sure. I just said, you know, I'm calling about the property on South Shore. He said, you don't even know the name of the house or the name of the street. Oh, oh, okay. So look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push myself or uh, fight with somebody. Uh, at the end of the day, the guy didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to talk. So he was on the market for 322 days. Interesting. So you'll run into that. There are people that think because I'm in, in Grand Rapids, I can't help him in Holland. He's obviously um, mistaken. So, you know, it's a high price property. Could I send him a card and email him my information and follow back up with him and let him see uh, my stuff, see that it doesn't matter I'm here? Maybe. So in the interest that something may come of it in the future, even though he wasn't very nice, uh, I am actually going to make an attempt to shoot him a card and drop an email, drop an email to him. So we'll see. That's just my way. Um, said I didn't even have the name of the street. Correct. Hmm. So I'll make sure I dead lead, trash him in Mojo. Let's 
see, why did it sell? Looks nice. Interesting kitchen. That's a video. Nick, hello, Michael Moore, Miss Robin, hello everybody. Hi, Alyssa. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for sir. I'm sorry, I may have a bad number. I was calling for a Mark or Lynn Elliott. Riverside School District 96. I don't have anybody here by that name. Oh, strange. Okay. My mistake. Have a great day. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Okay. bye. Mark that one. Bad number. 7878. So maybe, real quick, we can. See if we can find them. Look in Michigan real quick. Right by East Town. All right, looks like I found the one I'm looking for. Add these numbers that are here in the Ada area. Boom. And that one. There's two numbers I found in about 30 seconds. One, two, there are three other numbers as well. And it looks like an additional email here that I didn't know about. So we'll see if that fits. No contact next number. reached the voice mailbox of six one six four three seven
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. The mailbox belonging to 517709354 is full. Please hang up. Are you still there? Goodbye. Hmm. I'll see if I can find another number. But... You've reached Keith and Don at two six nine seven nine two one five one six. Please leave your name and number, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Charles, hi, this is Brandon. How are you, sir? <clears throat> hey, hope you're doing all right. Wanted to reach out and touch base and see if we can chat. Give me a shout when you can, sir. Hope you're well. Bye. That is my buddy. Looks like his stuff has expired. Oh. 
Hi, Charles. How you doing? <clears throat> That's all right. It's Brandon. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, you probably have noticed, uh, you know, the house went off uh, the property, went off the market. I, anyway, and, uh, I've always kept an eye on you, sir. Yeah, well, here's what here's where it's at. Uh, my uh, new game plan here is a recruit, a real crew that had it first, and he's uh, um, basically willing to vouch uh, the, the commission down to the 5%. Mm -hmm. so where, whoever works with him is going to try to get a split 2.5%. Uh, they're looking for three more months for this guy. Mm. Uh, he's uh, you know, he's been really great at working with me and uh, trying to get my best luck. And uh, I went ahead and revised the property description with him a bit and we'll work. And uh, he's going to relist it today for three months. Okay. And uh, if it doesn't go, I got it down to uh, not put it down to three nineteen five. And uh, if that strategy doesn't work out in three months, I would uh, basically add out of my mind to uh, I appreciate you being so aggressive and uh, and uh, doing uh, you know uh, maybe going with your concept of starting at three and see what we go, what we get from there. Uh, you know, I'm at a point where uh, uh, health wise, there's no going on with me, and uh, you know, I'm not going to have to. Put a bunch of money into equipment around here to keep maintaining the place. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go this year, one way or the other. Yeah. But I've got to go for my best spot through the Iron Town games for a little way and that. But right. that's where I'm at with it, Brandon. <clears throat> uh, you know, waiting straight up, straight up with you. And, uh, but now I think, uh, you know, if this doesn't work, uh, uh, you'll be you'll be next on my list to work with on this property to to work with. Okay. And um, if you are uh, if you happen to have any anyone that is interested in, uh, in that, I've had I've had some more people come through here, and it's all we <clears throat> mark every batch. And uh, you know, hey, the property's clean, well kept. Uh, you know, they were great about it. But you're, everybody's got a different. Outlook about well, you know, the lake trout is across the street. That's the last we wanted. Well, you know, it's just really great, but you have to have the lake trout not across the street. Yeah. And you know, people out there are saying, well, you know, it's really nice, but uh, you know, the pole barn's not quite big enough for this or that. Uh, you know. <laughs> so oh, that's kind of the feedback I'm getting from uh, you know people of interest that come through, uh, and. Um, I can give you a heads up what I'm dealing with. It's like everybody's got a different one I need about something. Mm -hmm. No, I know how it is. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, so I, you know, I definitely wish you luck with it. Obviously, I told you I'm a patient guy, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna back you up. And I'm gonna give you what I know. Which here's the only concern. If you were my family, the concern I have in my family or a friend telling me that their 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 realtor is gonna offer two and a half percent to other agents is I know from being an agent that if my buyers have, you know, three to five places they want to see um, and one of them is only offering two and a half percent, there's a chance that some agents don't even show it because it's not offering 3%. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying there are, you potentially cut out some of your buyer pool if the agent isn't is not offering the going rate of three percent. So my suggestion would be is to try to convince the agent that if he's going to take five percent from you, to at least still offer three percent to the buyer agents on the MLS so that they don't not show your house because of that. Does that make sense? Yeah, we discussed that. Okay. You know, okay. That, and uh, he basically is to, uh, you know, he's he's gonna he's gonna basically cut his down two and a half. He says, but uh, he can present that possibility to you know any of the river that way he has to might bring out a fire. You know, yeah. He'll pay. You know, he'll pay basically. Uh, 
you know, pay a three percent at the you know, gotcha. you know, other party. You know, you know, you know, you know. So I want to make sure I'm also fair here. You said you said you already signed a contract to relist it. Is that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to explain that. He's supposed to email me and he did his revision. I went over there to practice inspection and all. And I edited it out. Uh, as far as his work was concerned, it was to go about unnecessary words in there that basically uh, about characters, put more information about the property and then more direct information. Whatever. He's a younger guy. He was up to his place. But maybe you probably have, uh, you know, uh, uh, is you and doing what he does, but uh, he's, he's, uh, you know, it's hard to write rights and he's trying to help me out. Sure. And I'm doing my best to kind of steer him and today, this is what we ought to do, kind of open up uh, more direct information about the property and uh, its location and setting and what it's really all about. Better than well, you know, a lot of unnecessary words, I guess, when I want to have on Saturday. Okay. Well, if you already, if you already signed with him, then I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, which is, is, you know, uh, you know, acquiescing at this time and just, you know, Hey, I'll be here if you need me and I'll keep my eye out for it. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm here for you. Okay. Charles, I just hope you don't wind okay, up. Next time I'm even, even, uh, and even said, hey, Charles, we don't I mentioned you already mentioned your uh, you know your name and uh Jacob's Mary Valley and he said, Well, you know, so if we can't well this kind of maybe you ought to go back for Brian, you know, for Brandon and uh, you know, get the uh, you know, this with him as many people for you. But uh so, you know, I'm pretty open well, you know, I've been pretty open minded and uh up front but tell them about everything and my you know, my directions. And um so that's you know, so it's all that and uh I bet. That's why I didn't call that day. Man, it did not stop ringing. I had both phones ringing <laughs> at the same time and talk about the room. Uh, Charles. I'm, I'm good. I, I got to get, I got uh, a appointment coming up here this morning too. And uh, I'm getting ready to get to that. And uh, 
I wish you a good day. I appreciate you calling, and I'll stay in touch with you. No, uh, you bet. You bet. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, and you know, you want to. Yeah, he's a little bit. He's a little bit. He's going to be coming up sometime today. Uh, All right. I'm going to eat him. We're having him this afternoon. This kind of look at. He's supposed to email me, like I say, uh, uh, a proof of money. And, uh, the, you know, what the revision here. And uh, so I, was, I told him I wanted to go over it before he looks at it. Just to make sure it's all correct. But we haven't got there yet. So I'm waiting for that. This is hopefully. Uh, uh, we'll see, see how it goes. Okay. I uh, wish you the luck with it. I okay, wish you. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, thanks again to all the mailings and all. And uh, the Energy Magazine you put out there, I can tell you, uh, you know, you're uh, uh, very professional in what you do. And uh, if it doesn't go this time, then I'll be, I'll be not going to get over. <laughs> all right. I'll be here, Charles. All right. Thanks. All right. Have, have a great day. one. Bye. <laughs> Man, that's tough. That's a that's a guy that's been how do you like that hair? Look at that. So that's a guy I've been talking to for a little while. Man, this guy's had, I don't know, six or seven expireds. 2012, 2017, 2018, and two in 2019. Both of them in 2018 were by the same guy, or 19, excuse me, they were by the same guy, and he's already signed to list with him again. He called me after the last listing with that guy, said he was ready to go with me. Um, you know, he's been listed at, you know, 350, um, 339, I think he was at one time, 335, and that was, you know, 339 and then 335 for, you know, 90 days. Um, then came back to the market again at 325, started at 329, and went down to 325. He was on the market for 93 days again, you know, same guy. And, you know, when I talked to him before this last listing, I told him you need to listen at, you know, 300, you know, get some interest. Maybe it'll go for a 305, 310, um, or 315, you know, listed at 315. He was, uh, you know, well, what happens if somebody makes me an offer at, at 300 or 315? Do I have to take that? I said, no, you don't have to take that. Nobody make you take an offer. So I don't like to list properties at a, at a price you wouldn't take. Um, and he just got so squirrely about that. He thought, you know, well, it says here in the contract that I agree to sell my property for X dollars and I'm agreeing to sell it for 300. And then that means I have to sell it. Like, I actually couldn't talk the guy through it. And he wound up not calling me back and listening to that same guy again, which did nothing for him in the last three months again. Um, and all he's literally doing is showing the market. He, he's going stale. He's making his property stale over time. So unfortunately, that's, that's how it's going to end up unless, you know, hey, I mean, we may get it and he may list with me in three months at, at you know, 300,000 and he only gets 305. Where if he had listened with me at 300, you know, three months ago, it may have turned out better. So you just never know. You just got to keep in touch with him, you know. So he gets my magazine. He gets my article. And you hear him, he's like, I really appreciate the, the magazine. I appreciate the stuff you send to me. It's professional. And, you know, um, if I don't if I don't get it done this time, I'm definitely going to be knocking on your door. And it doesn't help me today. And I know that when I finally do get that man's business and I get it done for him, I'll have a lifetime customer and uh, a referral source. So we'll go ahead and make the contact. That's a trash. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system to the Hi, my name's my name's Brandon. I was calling for Jacob Tobias. Do I have the right number? Yeah, 
this is Jacob. This is my wife's phone now. Oh, hey, Jacob. How are you? Sorry about that. Hey, I, yeah, um, uh, you're, to reach that phone. that's all right. Um, I was calling about the property I noticed on Townsend. Is that, that's your, your place there in Ionia? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I'm curious, are you guys going to be considering selling that again this time, uh, this year sometime, excuse me? Um, we're not sure. Uh, we've done a lot of remodeling. Um, we completely renovated the kitchen and made it massive and then tore down a couple walls and made it an open concept. Oh, nice. So we're still debating on the whole selling thing yet. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I ask what had you kicking tires on selling in the first place? Were you like looking for a bigger place? Uh, well, we saw a house that was on the market for like a year, year and a half, and it looked awesome. Um, we fell in love with it. It was super cheap because the bank owned it. Um, we went and looked at it. We were writing up to just make an offer, and then after a year of no offers, it sold the day that we were trying to write something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's, is that, man, that's how it happens. I, I always tell people, as soon as you're interested in something, somebody else is going to be also. That's wild. Um, uh, okay. Um, so what, that property, was it, the, was it the house? Was it the neighborhood? I mean, could you recreate or, or maybe find another house in that area that would fit? Or was it really just that location? Uh, maybe the location wasn't too important to us. I mean, all of my Ionia is great. We're from downtown Grand Rapids. So okay. There's really nothing bad in Ionia to us, at least. We usually <laughs> like the house. Okay. And do you have kiddos that you... Do you have kiddos you want to keep in the school district or anything like that? Yeah, we have two kids. They're really young yet. We haven't fully looked at schools yet. Um, they're approaching that age, but we have about a year or two yet on that. So. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, I know... So I have I have my ear to the to the ground on the hidden market quite a bit, which is properties that aren't on the MLS. Um, okay. So you know you're for sale by owners, your make me moves, uh, your expired listings that just didn't sell like yours, right? Um, and I know you're tucked away right right by the border of the uh, uh, Ionia School District uh, number two, right? So you got that right there. You've got uh, Saranac just south. So are you open to like um, anywhere within a like 20 or 30 mile radius of your house currently? Or like, how would you best describe that for you? Do you want to stay within a certain spot of work? Uh, I actually work everywhere. I'm a self-contractor, so I work everywhere. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, it was really just the house. We love the house. I mean, it was like a dream house for and where we come from. The house would have been like four hundred thousand dollars. They were selling for one eighty here. Oh man! Because they just kept re reducing and reducing, and it was four thousand square feet. It was just a beautiful home, and we were really interested in it. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. So then we were like, "How about we just keep looking for a house and put ours on the market for the meantime?" Then we took it off um, during the winter just because we just wanted to relax and want to worry about cleaning. <laughs> and then we wrote that that we liked about the other house, and then we were kind of putting it in this house. So, okay, my wife is yet to if she wants to stay or not. It's completely up to her. <laughs> it's her house, you know. Sure. So, yeah, we're just trying to completely remodel it, and we're almost we're at the finishing touches right now. And she really likes it, so we're not sure what our game plan is right now. Yeah, um, it's something that we still about pretty frequently, but we just want to wait till it's completely done, and then. She'll uh, make her final decision. Sure. Okay. Well, cool. What I'd love to do is just nurture a relationship with you along the way, maybe even add some value to your world outside of the sale of the house so that, you know, when the time comes, you think of me and give me a chance to kind of meet with you and, and share what I know, uh, even if you don't use me. Okay. Um, I like, I like what I see already. If you guys do anything else and it looks like you've already painted all the rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they're all painted. Oh, yeah. When we first moved in, the house was pretty nasty, and I did four, four months of remodeling, and I completely redid everything, the floors, the walls, everything. Yeah, I like it. We we actually, Chubb, you ought to try sometime, um, not, I mean, you've pretty much done everything, I see. Uh, we actually did the flip, but we did white walls with gray trim, 
actually kind of, oh, wow. yeah, it turned, we, then I put up some two-step crown molding in my, my kitchen, you know, painted the crown, the crown uh, gray. So it uh, kind of pops. So mm -hmm. if you, if you haven't finished all the rooms, you ought to try white with gray trim in one of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my work in my kitchen, we did laminate, but it looks like marble countertop. Does it? And then um, we did, it's actually vinyl flooring, vinyl quick flooring. Yeah. And I use that as the back. Oh, did you? All right. So it looks like stone and the tile effect, but it's really just backslash. So interesting. Or boring. Nice. And it might actually work. I know it's about white with gray. But. Yeah, no, it turned out good. And if you want to, if you want to uh, do some of that that crown, I see you have a little bits of crown in that kitchen. Um, I'm always up for helping people do crown. I cut it and throw it like a maniac. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I got people always asking to help me, but I'm so picky. <laughs> yeah, I like to do big muscles. I know how it is. Man. Yeah, for sure. Well, I see. Um, yeah, I mean, I did, I, we installed what forty six feet of cabinetry in our kitchen. Oh no, yeah, forty six feet of cabinetry and then like fifty something feet of countertop. So our kitchen. I don't oh, know wow. if you've seen the house before. It sounds like you have. Basically, where that kitchen island was, that's all countertop and cabinets now. Wow. And then I knocked down the wall of the kitchen. And that old master bedroom, we took a loft of a bedroom, but that's the dining room now. Huh. I see with the island. The fridge, yeah. The fridge is set into the wall. So it opens up everything way more. Oh. And it gives the house a lot more. It makes more sense instead of having the dining room crammed in a little walk area. <laughs> Well, how about how about this, uh, Jacob? I'd love to. Do you go by Jacob or Jake? Jacob. Okay. So, Jacob, what I'd like to do is just uh, shoot you an email with my information. I'll include my welcome kit, with which is kind of like an onboarding for a new employee. I do it for my clients. It kind of walks them through my family and I, and what we do has some resources as well there, um, and my eight-week marketing plan. I'll include so you can. Kind of look that over and have an idea of what I do. It also represents my level of professionalism. So uh, I, I led a team that helped over 300 families in two, 2018. And so I kind of have a good bit of wisdom to give. And, and honestly, my glass is half full. So, you know, it could take three years to help you. And I'm, I'll still be here and I'm happy to. Okay. Uh, what's an email for you, Jake? I'll, Jacob, I'll send my stuff over later today. I'll do that. And then I, I also, once a month, I send an MVP, which is called a monthly value program. So I send an, an uh, I publish and share an article once a month to, with my sphere that's, you know, just relevant, useful, educational, real estate related information. And um, so you'll see that usually the first week of each month in your email. And I hope you enjoy it. Otherwise, I'll stay in touch if you need anything at all. Uh, transmission fix, venison, a diamond for the missus, anything at all. Just call me. I have the resources. <laughs> all right, Jacob. Hey, I appreciate your time. Have a great morning. Um, I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, see you, Jacob. Bye. Don't need you here in his email. Okay, so good call. I could have talked longer with the guy. Um, you know, the way I look at it, look, he told me a couple times, I got to listen to him, right? He told me a couple times they've made some really big uh, changes to their place. Their wife, his wife loves it. They're not sure what they're going to do now. It's entirely up to her. Um, for me to keep pushing with him, I mean, it wasn't leading anywhere. The best thing in my mind that I could have done at that time was listen to him and not be like all the other folks calling. So um, I got his email. I let him know I'll be sending him my welcome kit and my eight-week marketing plan. Uh, and, and then ultimately um, let him know that I'll be in touch and be sending him my article once a month and following up. So, you know, guys, um, this is this is how I stay steady. So... You know, 
I'm going to go ahead and write his name down. Jacob. Um, they make a lot of changes to the house. All right, so let me go ahead and drop him here. All right, so we've got him in follow up boss. And we're going to go ahead and jump in the dashboard real quick. Make sure you put him in there so I don't forget later. I'd leave that, trash that, and contact.
The call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Seven, three, four. Please leave your message for seven seven three seven one eight one five four. Address up so I know who this is. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh my gosh. Cell phone pictures, people. Come on. If you're gonna get you're gonna take a listing. Come on, just spend the money on a professional photographer. your message for Hi, my name's Brandon. I was calling to speak with uh, Amy. Is this Amy? This is. Hi, how you doing? Hi. 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 I I called back in September, and I think you were uh, at the time at the time you had Oakwood. It had expired. And you were I think you were relisting. D did that? Did I see correctly that that expired again? It did expire. It did. Okay. Um, I I imagine you're kind of running running wild here with phone calls and been dealing with this for over a year now. Uh, are you still going to be open to selling this again, Mrs. Alvin? Uh, I would be, we'd be open to showing it, but we do not need a realtor. Okay. So you, are you going to sell it for sale by first for sale by owner? Um, we're not really going to sell it unless it's at the right price. Um, but I, I just don't want a lot of people through the house. And, um, and we were happy with our realtor. We're, we, if we were going to do it, we would go back with him. Oh, so. you you would. Okay. So um, that's what I, kind of what I wanted to check on. I, I have the patience of an elephant. I, I've been in touch over a couple of years. And so um, I, I helped sell about 47 expireds last year and um, just like to stay in touch. So is there a... Okay. Yeah, we're really, I mean, we're, we're, really not wanting to sell it unless something happens. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you're just kind of tired of the listing and people coming through and I get it. I get it. Okay. Well, we like the house too. It was just, it's a, it's a little much because we have two kids at Notre Dame, but Do you? we, we love the house. So yeah. Are they, uh, either of them playing lacrosse? No, they did. No, they did in Spring Lake, but not good enough to play at Notre Dame. That's so. all right. No, I was I played at UMBC. Is my thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I think the great the yeah, place. Have four kids, three there. You have four kids. Yeah, and they 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 all play across, even our girls. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. 
No, it's a great sport. And they'll usually give back to the sport after college and go co coach and help out and give back to the, to the sport. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, yeah. well, um, you know, I guess ultimately it, 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 my question is, it, you know, when the time comes, would you be open to interviewing one other surgeon before you go back into surgery? Uh, no. <laughs> We're not even close to being there. I, <laughs> well, I appreciate the uh, the time this morning. Your house is gorgeous, and the decorating is is uh, outstanding. I'm sure you had something to do with that. So, right. <laughs> well, thank you. Have a have a blessed day, and uh, best of luck with the property. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You bet. Bye, Mrs. Alvin. All right. So look, I, you know, I talked with them last year. They said they were going to go with the same agent. Uh, and I know who it is, right? So they haven't relisted since. Uh, let's see. Okay, not much I can do there. You know, I tried. Um, I stayed in stayed in touch. She just said they're not going with anybody. If they go with anybody, it'll be their same realtor. Like, you know. hmm. So the part of, there's a part of me that says keep staying in touch, stay in touch, stay in touch, because it's an amazing property. Um, I also want to do business with those that want to do business with me. So do I worry about this person that just because it's a high end house, do I worry about them and try to gain their business in the future? Or do I just move on and keep digging? Um, in my case, I keep digging because I feel like I gave it my all with uh, my handlers and um, she just didn't bite. So uh, going to sell on own or if someone brings a buyer if they do list it will again be with the same agents <sighs> okay on to the next who is there My name's Brandon, and I was calling for Mike. Do I have the right number? Uh, Mike, uh, so much echo in the background. I don't hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry. What's that? I was looking for a Mike Pickham. I can't hear you. Looking for who? Mike, Michael Pickham. I, I might have a bad number here. Well, you must have the wrong number. Hmm. Okay, well, I was trying to reach a Mike Pickham or, or a, a lady named, or a person named Amra. Do, do either of those names no. ring a bell? No, that's not here. Interesting. Okay. Um, all right. I was trying to reach them. They had a house for sale on Wood School Road. Does, does 4493 yeah. Wood School Road ring a bell? I know where it is, but it's... It's not me. Okay. All right. Well, hey, my mistake. I will uh, try to find them. You might still get some more calls from people looking for them. So um, if so, I, I hope it, it doesn't get under your skin too much and everybody's polite. So, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you happen to know anybody? Do you know anyone who needs a realtor or should be one? Oh, we hung up. Number... Bad number. Hello? 
Hi, I was looking for Mike Pickham. Do I have the right number? Hello? Got your number. Call you back. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system six one six two zero. You have reached the voice mailbox of Two six nine two one four seven five. You have reached a non-working number at Western Michigan University. Hi, good morning. My name is Brandon. Is this Miss Janice? This is Jan. Hi, how are you, Jan? I'm, I'm fine. All right, thank you. Well, yeah, I was calling because I had touched base. Um, geez, I think it was back in uh, February of last year. I was calling about a house on Tamarack. Is, is, we don't own that house. That's the house that you don't own. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I had that right. Okay. Well, thank you, Miss Jan. You're welcome. Take care. Bye now. I mean... I don't even feel like this. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Thank you. 
number. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon. Is this uh, Kim? Yes, it is. Hi, Kim. I own Vidal Properties here, and I was calling about the property on West Crane. Noticed that it expired. Yep. Is that something that you are still interested in selling sometime this year? No, we're not. No, going to sit sit tight for a little bit? Yep. That, that's a whole lot easier than moving and packing and selling, for sure. No, I know how that yep. is. Yep, it is. <laughs> Well, I know it was a newer house. What had you guys kick her, kicking tires on moving that from that place in the first place? Um, just, just something new, something different. Something like like bigger, or is the size sufficient? Okay, I, I understand why people are. All right, so when they hang up, okay, um, why are people that way? Her call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, six, nine, eight. Zero four nine four nine four is not available. <clears throat> At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you <clears throat> hang up or press one for more options. Hi, Kim. This is Brandon. Um, I I don't know how we we just got disconnected there. I didn't want you to think I hung up on you while we were talking. Um, so the place looks great. I just was curious if you were going to look for something bigger someday. Um, and where that might be so I can keep my eye out for, um, you know, other expired properties or for sale by owner properties that are not on the market. Um, and I was curious if you need a, a, a concrete referral to finish out the driveway there or anything like that. It looks like you have the rest of the place cared for. So um, I'd just like to stay in touch and see if I can add value to your world in any way. And maybe in six years, you'll give me a chance to see what I can I give you for advice and sell the property. So even if that means helping you sell it on your own, I'm open to that. So uh, my number is 616-202-2802. My best to you guys. Take care. Bye. So, said not moving and basically hung up. Called back. Left message called back. So. I'll make that a dead lead, honestly. I'm not going to – I want to talk to those that want to do business with me, so I'm not going to push it too hard. I'm not going to worry too much about somebody that doesn't say yes. What's up, Mr. Terry? Six, one, six, nine, one, five, four, nine. That's right, my man. They're lost. I'm not saying I sell everything because I'd be lying. There are sometimes things don't sell. And hello. Hi. hi. Is this Mrs. Kemp? My name's Brandon. Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, my name's Brandon, Mrs. Kemp. I was dialing you. I, I own Vidal Properties. And I was kind of curious about the, the home I saw of yours on Como Lake. Yeah, I'm not. Um, if you are a realtor, I'm not going to switch realtors. Um, when I decide to put it back on the market, I will use my same gal. Okay. We had it on for an extraordinarily short time. My husband passed away suddenly, and oh. my entire life changed. Oh, I can't even imagine. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Well, then I, I noticed that it just... When do you think you'll be putting it back up, just so I can keep an eye out? Just 
the oh, in this in the summer you're gonna wait. So was this just recent that this happened, ma'am? Hi, I'm sorry. Uh, it was a, it was that last summer, actually, for about two weeks. Oh. Now I think on the May, on the bigger listing, it might have shown longer, but we only had it on the market for less. We had it on the market like about six, ten days. Yeah, it was like we already had an offer on it, and we had already put an offer in on another home. Oh no! And he suddenly passed. Oh no! All right. Well, um, so, sounds um, like sounds like Miss. I'm pretty. I'm pretty gun shy, and I'll put it on when I'm ready. But I'm pretty sure it'll be in summer. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure Miss Tori will take care of you. Yeah, I'm sure she will. All right. Thank you so. Much. She she needed a little break anyway. She just had a baby. Oh. <laughs> well, no worries. Uh, you know. <laughs> Is is you know I, I might as well ask you know is there is there any chance that there's another realtor out there that you'd at least interview before you go back into surgery? No 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 no. <laughs> I appreciate that. No doctor, I, I no doctor. I don't need a second opinion. I we were happy with Tori. Yeah, that's that's all right. I appreciate the loyalty, and I always got to ask. So, well, I wish you. A, I appreciate that. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Have a have Bye a good now. year. Yes, ma'am. Bye now. Bye. All right. Somebody's trying to call me. Hello, this is Brandon. Hi. Hi. Um, I was probably calling around a, for a house that I noticed. Let me see. Oh, was it? Was it? Was it you? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know that that's okay. I don't think anybody listed your um, number. I think this... Um, so the program that I use that scrubs the internet for names and phone numbers, sometimes we get relatives in another city. Sometimes we get you know wrong numbers and it's not because your number was listed anywhere, but let me, um, let me pull it up. Yeah. Shirley was the person. Okay. Let me see if I can find Shirley. Let's see, was it, uh, are they calling about Shirley Baker or Van Uren? That's okay. I'll find it. That's okay. <laughs> really? That's all right. Well, I'll go back through, I'll go back through my messages and update the numbers. So, um, sorry, you keep getting bugged. Do you know any, do you, do you know anybody on the planet? who needs a realtor or should actually be in real estate. No, but that's, that's why I say anywhere on the planet, like doesn't matter where they are. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Bye now. Hi, my name is Brandon. I was calling for Mr. and Mrs. Han. I'm sorry, but you have the wrong number. I may have hit the wrong buttons here with my fingers. I meant to dial 616-485-8520. That is what I dialed. That's what you dialed. Okay, that just, yeah, I just didn't want to hang up and, and, and dial that number again and call you back. <laughs> I just want to make sure I did, you know what I mean? So, um, this isn't a sales or collection call. They they had a house for sale uh, on Lincoln Street. Does does the address thirteen zero four one Lincoln Street ring a bell for you? 
Um, only because you are like the third person who has called. Me. Oh, really? I, I, my number, my number is listed incorrectly somewhere. Um, well, so to give you clarity, your your number's not your number's not listed anywhere. Uh, there's a software that some realtors uh, like myself use to scrub the internet for information. And so sometimes it's not uncommon for us to get a bad number. So, um, you know, just to give you clarity, your, your number is not showing as associated with that address, like for sale anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it somehow the, your number cross referenced with this address at some point in history. Does that make sense? (laughs) I don't know how, but um, I think so. yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll make sure I, I I own Vidal Properties at Keller Williams. So I'll make sure nobody else calls you from my team. Um, you may still get a call from another Keller agent. I hope they're. I just hope they're polite. That's all. Okay. No problem. Awesome. All right. You're welcome. Hey, do you happen to know anybody on the planet who needs a realtor or should be one? No, I do not. No? All right. All right. Well, hey, have a blessed day. Thanks so much. You have reached the voice mailbox of six one six four. You have reached the voice mailbox of six. This phone number is not monitored for phone calls. Please. You have reached the voice mailbox of five seven four three one five five zero eight four. At the top. John. Hi, John. Uh, my name's Brandon Vidal. I was calling about the property I noticed there on Center Street. Is that is that your okay, place? Sure. Yeah. Uh, do I have the right number? That's your home or your property? It is. Okay. It is. Yeah. Uh, well, I imagine you're you're getting some calls. I, I know the the place um, uh, expired. I'm just curious if that's something you might consider selling again this year. Yeah, we put it up for sale uh, by owner. Okay. So you just did that after it recently expired? You have it up, Fisbo? Okay. Yeah, we have a, we had an offer within a week, so at that price. Oh, um, did you did you pend it? I'm sorry? Have you so you sold it? It's not sold. Um we it's pending an offer right now. So oh, we good, good. Get us an okay. offer on it. Okay. We should have the offer within a couple three days, I guess. So nothing's for sure until it's in your hand. I understand that. <laughs> oh, they they made you a verbal offer. You're saying? Yeah, they did contingent. Yeah, we got to fix a couple things uh, for FHA, um, and so they're kind of trying to get that sorted out. Sure. What sort of? Well, the only things if you were my brother, I'd I'd just give you this advice. What? The only things they should be asking for or worried about with respect to an FHA appraisal are going to be like peeling paint. Um, That's number one. So if there's any peeling paint interior or exterior, they're going to want it sanded and painted. 
Um, if there yeah. are, they used to call us on GFCI outlets, not being within six feet of a water source, but that's not actually been flagged a lot lately. So that's, that's one thing to maybe not concern yourself too much over. And the other big thing is like handrails that are loose or handrails that are missing from stairs. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got everything covered there, and yeah, we that's what we're working on is the paint. Our uh, garage has a couple, couple uh, issues here and there, and okay, but they're not asking for one, other one window. They're not really asking for other fixings, no. though. Okay, all right, cool. No, no, no. So good. All right, I wouldn't want you to yeah, have to do a couple things. We had to take care of. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, good. Up. Yeah. Yeah, good luck with that, if, and I, I'll, I'll stay in touch if something happens with that, um, or if you need any advice. Um, you know, honestly, John, I see an email here. It looks like last name, first name. Is that right? At Gmail. Yeah. All right, Eric John at Gmail. .com. Yep. I'll, I'll shoot you an email. Just consider me a nephew in the industry. If something comes up and you have a question, um, I, I'm going to ask for nothing in return. I, I just wanted to uh, to uh, give out good karma with things. That's kind of how I am. So. Um, yeah, I'll okay. drop, I'll yeah, drop. I appreciate that. What was your name again? My name's Brandon. I own Vidal Properties at Keller Williams here in the Cascade Forest Hills area. So, oh, okay. gotcha. uh, that, but I, I sell properties right. all the way down to Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, up to Muskegon, out to Grand Haven, South Haven, you name it. So, um, okay. Excellent. Right. Well, I appreciate that. And I'll look for your email and if yeah, something falls through or you change your mind, I'll definitely keep you, keep you in mind. All right. And, uh, keep, Keep your eye out. I'm gonna. I'm going to include in that email a copy of the re revisions page and the newest revisions that have been made to the West Michigan Purchase Agreement. Um, I still get offers from attorneys and agents using the wrong purchase agreement. So, um, oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna share the new one with you so that when they do send their offer over, you can make sure it's the proper one. Because if it's not, okay. you'll probably get flagged in the middle of underwriting and asked to rewrite everything with a, with an updated version. Okay. okay. Awesome. Cool, John. All right. Very cool. I appreciate it. All right. You're very welcome, my good man. Do you need any referrals for anything else at the house? Concrete work, tile work, gutters, anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm set. I think we're set. All pretty set. good for now. Well, I guess maybe... Uh, contingent on um, inspections, but yeah. All right. If you, possible. If, you, if you find out you need a referral, let me know. I've got them all over the all over the country. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. All right, my good man. Thanks, John. All right. Thanks Bye. For you back. Bye. Yeah, bye. Go ahead and put him in here. We'll make sure we have the dashboard up. So I'm going to throw his email in the dashboard for paperless agent for my article. So I know it'll go out this next month to him. So John. John. Okay. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it was. And uh, um, cool. Add. And he's added. All right. Now we're going to get he's added to the database. Hey, do I? Now you wonder why am I doing this for somebody who is pending? Because he knows people. And it might be beneficial to help a fellow like this. Because in his eyes, he just told me he's got his FISBO pending. Why would I offer him any help? Why not? He knows people. And he sounded nice. Don't you want to talk to people that sound nice? And may refer you business in the future? Glad to keep... Sending him the updated PA. He's like, oh, wow. Wow, thank you. That's awesome of you. No one has ever done that for me before. So why don't I? There we go. So he's a nurturer. Why? Because he's a future lead giver. All right, so now he's a FISBO. So that means we're going to stay in touch now. Because he's a seller. He's an active seller, but he's pending. All right, so let's go ahead and save these notes from Mojo over to my CRM. Make sure the date's proper. Boom. All right. So, no. PA, card, subscription, yep, boom, boom. All right, so, John, I'll go ahead and dead him so no one else is calling him. Sorry, I missed you. Leave a message. I'll call you back. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, this message is for the Bishop family. I was calling to ask a question about a property I noticed there. Uh, my number is 616-202. 2802. If you would give me a shout back, I look forward to hearing from somebody. Thanks so much. Bye. Do they use? Yep, they use flooring for backsplash. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They use it in the bathroom too. Okay. They um, little hole in the side. Of it. That's okay. <clears throat> no contact. Next number. <clears throat> 